Step number one. So good. Ooh. I'm not going to lie, I'm enjoying this little wind coming here to the bedroom. It's incredible, guys. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are fully in spring. I don't know if you can see this sunshine. This is all from the window here, which is only this much open, otherwise you won't be able to see me because the sun is coming to our bedroom. <laughs> Incredible, I'm so happy. But anyway, I'm not here to talk to you about sunshine today. I'm here to talk to you... Pardon. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to see me the same way now. So weird. Guys, I'm trying to make this video as in a, as most natural light as it can be. <laughs> but these curtains keep flying here in front of my face because I have open window here. And I'm sitting on the floor in the bedroom. I don't know what about you, but I love to sit on a floor. I don't know why, but I just love it. It's just like, it's my thing. So maybe sometimes I will disappear because of this curtain. Guys, I'm here today in a natural light to show you the skin so we can talk about the products which are here and today it's not anti-aging, today I want to talk to you about the struggles, the blemishes, the acne, the hormonal breakouts and the products I love the most to fight them. <laughs> Because of this difficult winter with breakouts, which I didn't have like this for quite a time, you know, because I lived 12 years in Florida, I adjusted to the environment, to the food, to the bacteria, and, you know, what people give you around, what food has and things like that, that all matters, right, in our lives, the way we get affected with things. And for me, I have large pores, so for me, breakouts, that is just something I have to live with forever. Even I'm 38 years old, I will be 39 this year. It's something I, I live with all my life. There is no question. That is just part of who I am. And I think even once I'm 50, I will still get breakouts. So I want to share with you today the goodies to help you to fix maybe the clock pores, the breakouts, the deep hormonal acne, the cysts and things like that. I want to share with you what works for me the best. And really, um, it's been a journey, life journey, especially this year was the most difficult in long time because I had no idea what is happening with my skin. It was dry, it was flaky, it was... Because the water here is different too, right? So I had to like adjust everything, how I use products, different products, and it took time for my skin to adjust to things which I was even using for many years already, but my skin started reacting differently to them. So I added something new to my skin routine and I'm here to share it with you what it is. So yes, guys, um, I think the really big mistake what we do first is we pick on what comes, right? It just sometimes, you know, you are just like, it's just a little bit. And then you end up with like, right? What the hell? And then you are just like, what I was thinking, what I was thinking. You just pick it a little bit and the next day it's like huge, inflamed, versed. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to talk about the products which help you to heal it or maybe even take it out. It depends, of course, how you use it, what you're using, how bad are your breakouts. I mean, yeah. So guys, of course, what we have to do first, I like to wash my face twice a day, a.m. and p.m., of course. I like to use gentle milk cleanser. This one is the O2 from Biologic Research, which gives oxygen, which means a little bit of glow, you know, just starting with the face wash. Yes, I love this one. I have another tea tree oil from Envirom face wash, which is in the shower. So I have two. I have one which is a little bit stronger because when I work out, you sweat, you know, you need to cleanse your skin a little bit deeper. And now for summer, when we will be sweating a little bit more, it may be good to have two different ones like I do. 
one for a.m. and one for p.m. This is my a.m. and as well for the eye area for p.m. Um, cleanser, makeup remover. And then I have the one which is like gel based and a little bit more strong. Not too strong though. It's gentle enough. So don't ever forget to wash your makeup off when you're going to sleep, after gym, or just even if you didn't put makeup on the daytime, you have to wash your face at night. You just have to. There is no question about it. You have to. Oh, the light. Where is the light? <laughs> well, now you see me in different light. Again, daylight, right? So, you know the exfoliation. So, P50. P50, guys, what it absorbs, it has... This one has a fennel, of course. It has the vinegar. So, so guys, P50 absorbs lactic acid and salicylic acid. So, to me, this is very gentle for me, personally, because I'm adjusted to the strength already. This is the original one with fennel. By the way, you cannot use fennel when you're breastfeeding or you're planning to be pregnant. No, bueno, for women or men. Like... <laughs> Yeah, you get to go to your men's cabinet and ask him, hey, are you using fennel? Because I would like to have a baby. <laughs> 2023, guys. <laughs> guys use skincare. So anyway, uh, yes, <laughs> my husband is. My husband is using this one as well. Because he still gets breakouts as well here and there. So guys, gentle exfoliation. Exfoliation is very important to remove the dead skin. We live, our skin lives. We are all alive. This is alive. So you have to constantly, it's not like you do it once a month. You have to constantly be in a process of exfoliating, gently exfoliating your skin. I used to use salicylic acid uh, chemical peel, gentle one, <laughs> 25%. <laughs> it worked, it worked, but it overdried my skin very much, but it did kill the bacteria. Is it something I will recommend you to do by yourself as I did at home? Probably not, but I am very good with skincare, so I did it. Not something I will recommend to you. But P50 has salicylic acid in it. And salicylic acid is great for breakouts. So, yes guys. It will help you exfoliate the skin. Remove dead cells. So your pores don't get clogged. I use this once a day. When I actually happen to do pick on something which is there. Because it happens either or, right? Because it's based on hormone hormones for us as well. Right, ladies? So... If there is something I pick, I will use it even twice a day. But gentle exfoliation, very important. I will as well mention two serums which I love for breakouts the most. Isoplacenta. Placenta has, Isoplacenta has something what helps me to heal something I already pick on. I know some of you hate it so much, guys. I always will be using it because I didn't have it for a few weeks and I started getting like these little things on my face during winter time and I was so confused by it so the second I added back to my routine it stopped so it was fantastic so isoplacenta will help you heal lighten the dark spots and if you have scars it as well removes the scars so of course it's a process it's not overnight it takes long time but it definitely is a great product to have if you have breakouts uh, I will always recommend you to start with uh, active products with the smaller bottles because what if it doesn't work for your skin type, right? Because it can sometimes work for some people and for some people it can be irritating. The next very important product is vitamin C, guys. Every single day in the morning you must use vitamin C. As you know, my favorite is Skin Skinceutical for years. I switch in between the different types. I try Iso, I try, um, what is the Is Clinical? I try Drunk Elephant. I tried like different brands. They were not for me. I'm still considering trying Is Clinical different piece, but uh, different piece, different product than I had before. But with this one, I never go wrong because the Is Clinical was a little tingly for my skin so I wasn't sure why it just maybe it's because I use so many exfoliators but I know 
I follow some people who as well use P50 and they use it and they don't complain about it. I don't know. So I don't have the problem with this one. As well, what vitamin C does, guys, it will lighten up if you have dark spots, sunspots, acne spots. It just helps you as well to remove the pigmentation from the skin. So it's very good to have. And as well, uh, I don't know if this one is, it has ferulic acid. I don't know if this one is the one which is for acne pro skin, is it? I don't think so, but they do have a one which is for acne pro skin as well. So it has something which will help you heal up as well. Why I as well like skin skinceuticals because it had, as per study, it has the highest percentage absorption to your face from the C serums out there. I don't know about it's clinical. I don't think it's clinical existed when they did the research, but that's why I love it as well. And I see the difference in my skin, the glow, you know, the cleanness of the skin. When I stopped using vitamin C for once, I don't know why, I just was like, maybe I don't need it. I saw the difference right away. Like, I saw the difference. So every time I'm like, this much left, soon need to go buy a new one. Retinol creams, very important exfoliants as well. So it depends on the acne you have, guys. It can harm you or it can help you. It really depends. Uh, I don't have like chronic acne, right? I have breakouts here and there. But so ex what happens usually with breakouts, they are clogged, uh, clogged pores with the inflammation, which is trying to get out or gets locked deeper. So the ones to me which gets locked deeper are actually much more harming than the ones which come out to the skin because you can use your hands and get rid of them. Shouldn't we all do it? We will be lying if we say we don't. I, and I already did say I do. <laughs> so why is retinol important? It's not just it's anti-aging, but it helps you gently exfoliate the skin. Again, the dead cell turnover. It will speed up the process. It will make you know the pores cleaner. So your skin is not getting you know. How you know people don't use retinol is when they have very dull, very aged skin, even in their 20s. I was guilty of that because I started using retinols, I think in my 30s. Mm -hmm, it's late, it is what it is, but 38 now, guys, 38. So <laughs> at the moment, I'm using actually the lighter version of skin ceuticals, it's the retinol 0.5. I used to use the strongest one. I used to use Tazorac, which was too strong for me. And then I s tried this one and I loved it. I as well used this one. It's for my neck, for my décolleté, and for my upper back as well, because those are all things which I want to keep young and fresh and nice. I bought this originally for face, but I don't have the time to finish it before we leave. Because one thing when you're moving, guys, <laughs> Uh, abroad. Uh, the people, your movers, won't take open skincare, beauty, cosmetics products for you. They, they cannot do it. There is like a checkup on the borders and they find there is a product which is open. They will open everything and then your stuff is stuck there for who knows how long because it takes time to open the container, right? So, yeah, <laughs> and all the boxes. Imagine like 40 boxes to open and check them. No, 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 I'm not risking it. So I'm trying to finish all the products I have as much as I can. So actually this is fantastic for the neck, for the décolleté, even for the back, you know. If you have, let's say, even like breakouts here, because I see it a lot, it does happen, I will highly recommend you to even get like retinol out there. But SPF guys, don't go on sun with it. I would be gentle if you swim in the pools. And you know, like be smart, like be smart. Think of what you're doing. You don't just live in a la la land and think, oh, I'm going to do all these things and then I'm gonna go to Solarium. Please don't go to Solarium. Please don't go to Solarium. You self tenders, don't go to Solarium. You will regret it. You may think in your 20s, it's okay. No, 
it will pay you back. It will, it will, and really badly. It will, guys. Face cream. Um, at the moment, I don't have face cream, which I was using for AM time, which was, I have three favorites. Uh, is the Iso Placenta, which also helps you with healing, the breakouts and things like that. Dermo Purifiante is fantastic if you do have actually breakouts, but I like to use the one at night because it's, it gets my skin quite greasy, which is weird. The sun is playing games here with us, guys. It's difficult here, it's difficult. But it's April, so <laughs> let it be <laughs> what it is. As long as the sunshine comes sometimes, right? So anyway, then guys, I need to speak to you about Mask Vivant. We know, you know how much I adore Village Eager Search. I'm just like a big addict to the skincare. Um, <laughs> it is true. <laughs> My name is Iveta Paris and I am Biologic Research Addict. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about it, right? But it is true. <laughs> anyway, guys, so Mask Vivant is here to as well keep your skin looking young all year round. It as well helps you with, you know, the oil production of your skin. This mask will rebalance your skin. So exactly, that's what we need. It's just the full name of this mask, rebalancing mask, you know, the oil production and things like that, very important. But even if all this doesn't work, it's good to have Oh my god, I see spider. I see spider. You see, that's why we're leaving. I cannot live where there are spiders. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's go to the main product while I'm doing this video because it's really incredible and I really wanted to share it with you. You've seen it on my Instagram and I am here to officially introduce you to this beauty. It's called the Zio Skin Health by Zain Obaji. <laughs> I don't think I said the name correctly, but here. So I just wanted to Google this to give you the exact information about this product, guys. So this is natural clay-based mask that cleanses pores and absorbs excess oil that can lead to future breakouts while hydrating the skin to combat dryness. Very important uh, as well, very important points with the dryness, guys. Uh, sometimes when we fight acne, we tend to over dry our skin with product that is actually really bad because that is as well how you can create more acne you will create dark spots and deeper inflammation you have to hydrate your skin because sometimes very often actually all the time when you over dry your skin your skin what is going to happen naturally it's living body right our skin is an organ so it's an organ, so our skin will fight it to try to hydrate with producing more oil. Yes, so that is definitely natural defense of our skin. And then once the skin is producing more oil, what is happening to you is you will get more acne, more breakouts. So that is to me like really common sense. So yeah. So what you can do with this mask, you can cover your entire face with thin layer twice a week so what i like to do because for me personally this mask is really strong so what i like to do is to take a little piece of the mask and use it as a spa treatment <laughs> yes i don't think i will put it all over my face but what i have done i put it on my nose and then i put it on the spots i have like the hormonal things i have one here i had one here 24 hours incredible guys it was like gone dissolved and i even used it on my husband yesterday he had like happening thing here and it's working already but anyway he's going to use it today again as a spot treatment i'm testing it how often you can use it as spot treatment but he wants to do it this mask has sulfur so you got to be really careful because sulfur can over dry your skin so be very very careful if you already have naturally dry skin really just tap it on the pro on the pimple don't go anywhere around i will not even recommend you to do that t-zone probably not of course depends on the skin you're dealing with but guys very careful yes as well it has glycerin to retain hydration and kaolin and bentonite which as well absorbs surface oil and removes debris to help keep pores clean it has talc well a lot of things has talc 
so anyway this mask is bright blue very bright blue so, <laughs> so if you worrying about buying different product wrong product it's bright blue guys and it's the only mask they have of this kind on their website it has amazing reviews i actually uh, mentioned this in my previous videos when i had for my facial and she applied it on a little corner of mine here like a spot treatment she let me i think 20 minutes with it on actually she put sheet mask of sheet sheet mask sheet mask she put sheet mask all over my face when she let this uh, product sit there for 20 minutes with the mask and then I came home and it was like healed so I had to mention the review of this product I actually used it twice already since I got it because I had again some hormonal situation this is just the area for me always happening so I just put it as a spot treatment I as well use it on my nose it cleansed my pores to perfection but guys i do have oily skin i have oily skin i have large pores if you have dry skin you get to be really careful if you have very sensitive skin i will highly recommend you to really just use it as a spot treatment very careful very careful so this is definitely something i will keep in my cosmetic bag forever even my husband is in love with this product already so yes guys i just wanted to review this for you and i tell you it's fantastic and i highly recommend you to give it a try it's not even that expensive incredible you know they sell it all over prague i was always wondering what it is some of you mentioned that it's too aggressive for you i agree it definitely is very strong product so that's why i'm saying spot treatment only if you break out it's a good product to have in your cosmetic bag for the emergencies you know this does not create the pigmentation it doesn't over dry the skin around the pimple which makes you you know with the spots left after and that is the fantastic part of this product so i think maybe that's the glycerin who knows but anyway guys because the storm is coming and very soon I will disappear from <laughs> from the camera because obviously there is uh, less and less light here. You know, whole day, it was so, no whole day, since like noon and it was so beautiful and sunny, I was like, let me do a video here. Boom. <laughs> yeah, today is the kind of day you stay home. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in comments below what are your favorites for breakouts. What is your skin type? How are you dealing with it? Have you ever tried Accutane? I'm really curious about how many of you have tried Accutane in your life journey because I did. I did have Accutane um, about seven years ago. So if you are interested in the, my story of Accutane, let me know in comments below as well because I think it's a story by its own. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. We always talk about it, right? And I see you next week. Bye-bye.